guys. This is real. The taste sucked, man. My brother don't even know I'm here at his house recording a video. I've been struggling. I've had a lot of bad stuff happen lately in my life that I deserve. But what I'm getting charged with, I wasn't guilty of, but I did deserve to spend my time in jail. It was a blessing, but it's been like 21, 22 days off of dope and cocaine. And methadone, 85 milligrams, cold turkey. I, uh, I've been slipping. I, I don't get but like an hour, hour and a half of sleep a night. And usually last time I came off of stuff, I had all this energy and couldn't sleep. Like, but my fatigueness, I, I pick myself up out of bed and I'm tired. I get winded very easily. I feel my hands and my feet swell up still and they itch from the toxins that are coming out of my body this was the worst experience i've ever had in my entire life i'm fighting with my wife horribly <sighs> these withdrawals are just kicking my ass I, I i'm going i'm still losing my mind 21 days later it's the methadone and I've been smoking weed. That helped, but I'm about to be put on probation. I meet with my PO Friday at 2 o'clock. I violate. They might just throw my ass in jail. I'm going to be honest with her, and I hope that works out. And that's funny. I mentioned honesty because I wanted to do this video, but I don't want to tell them myself. This morning, I took a piece of Suboxone. And I didn't even like it. It actually made me sweat more. I didn't need it, but I took it anyways. Five days ago, I took an eighth of a Suboxone. And that's it. Weed and a beer every other night. And it scares me. Am I going to get it? I, uh, I'm fighting this beast, you guys. I realized today, man, I literally, like, cut off all my real friends, which I've only had, like, two. I ain't talked to them in a while. I don't have anybody to talk to. I went to a meeting today, told on myself at the meeting. You know, who wants to tell on themselves to thousands of people? I'm a junkie. I'm an addict. I can't even be around my daughter right now. It's all because of drugs. All because of drugs. I'm tired of it, man. I'm so tired. In jail, it was a nightmare. A nightmare. Six by eight cell, 21 hours a day, locked back. I wanted to beat my head. I wanted to knock myself out. I literally thought to myself while I was pinging off them walls, kicking so hard, sweating. Then I couldn't sweat but wanted to. Bodies itching on fire. I wanted to knock myself out on the concrete wall. I said, maybe if I run into it head first hard enough, I'll knock myself out. That's how insane I have been. It's like hitting a brick wall. I'm thinking of all the crap that I did. And then all I get, how did I get so sick? I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. I, it scared the shit out of me. Jail, institutions, and death is what they say. I don't want to die. I don't ever want to go back to jail. And God knows I hate rehabs. Who wants to feel like shit 24-7? Why do I keep going back? What is 
what is really going on? I've never worked on this before with all my heart and soul, my disease. How do I get this under control? How do I stop? How do I truly stop? How do I? I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to fucking use. I'll call my mom at four in the morning if that's what it takes. I love my wife. She doesn't get it. I have to be selfish with my recovery. Like I was with my addiction. That is the only way I'm going to be. It has to come first. Before everything right now, I am still second by second, moment by moment. You know, they say day for day, day by day, just for today. Motherfucker, just for right now. I'm hoping, man. I, I, I. <laughs> These moments, man, these moments, I these emotions, these, I watched a movie and something small, but it was meaningful, and I, I cried, I cried, and I actually said to myself, I thought, man, being a wuss, man, what, what's wrong with me, I'm crying, and I said to myself, it hit me, a little moment of clarity, I actually feel something, because God knows I've been numb. I'm just wanting to feel better. I just want to feel better. I just, that's all. My wife's mother said to me, I'm tired of hearing about how you feel, you don't feel good in jail, and, but when I feel, and I'm withdrawn, and I feel away, all I can think about, and obsess over, is how fucking shitty I feel, I just, I want to get this, you know what, I went to a meeting, I got me two sponsors today, and like 20 phone numbers, and I'm going to call them after I get off of the phone here with y'all or off the fucking computer, man. I'm so, my fr my brain is still frying and popping and steaming, still toss and turn. And then when I, it's like I toss and turn and then all of a sudden I wake up, I come to and I'm sweating still. My feet will itch and they'll hot. I feel it in my face. It's like needles. It's methadone, guys. Stay the fuck away from it. Stay the fuck away from it. Yeah, it's safer than dope. But let me tell you something. The withdrawals are worse. So. Don't fuck with none of it, man. Like, do not let it take what it did for me right now. I'm going to jail. If I mess up, I'm going to spend time in jail. If I mess up, I'm going to get this felony, and then I'm going to go to prison. Do not do what I did. Don't fucking do it. Don't. I, don't. Take my heed, my warning. Don't do it. You will fucking regret it. The ripple effect will affect your family. You will hurt everybody that you care about. And then you'll have to face it. Can't stay high forever. You will have to face it. And God willing, man, it don't take it don't take you out. Cause it's it's gonna kill me. I'm going to die for my addiction if I continue to use. It has gotten worse over the ten years. It's bad. It's bad. I'm I'm very, very fortunate. Very fortunate. All this fentanyl now, it's not dope. I OD'd from it one time already. You guys, I don't even know why I don't do this kind of thing, make videos and talk. But I don't have anybody to talk to except my brother, and he's gone at work all week. These people I don't know in the meetings. If you're out there, man, you're hurt. You're not alone. Oh, 
I'm lucky I'm here. I'm blessed. All right, guys. Say a prayer for me, please. God is good.